All right, I'm at Mesh Pot Cave at Lava Beds. I'm gonna go through here. I just went through it once without a flashlight. This time I'm gonna go through it with a flashlight, see which way comes out better. Looks like the first one came out pretty good. We'll see if I missed anything. Okay, here's a sign about the volcano. Good to know. All right, there's the mush pot. All right, this is the flashlight's brightest setting. See how this goes. 8,000 lumens. See if this will get me anywhere. Here's another sign about the entrance zone. There's the mush pot. See, there isn't much in here. It's a hole. Oops, didn't mean it all my. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can crawl back here a little bit, look around. As you can see, uh, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, very rough floor. Oops, need to pan up just a bit. All right, there you are, see? It's sealed, dead end. Interesting. All right, good to know. Oh, huh, that's weird. There's a couple metal poles here. There's a metal pole there. Metal pole here. Wonder if those are for something interesting. I wonder if they used to be for a sign. Something like that. Interesting. Looking back up at the entrance. Some interesting stuff here on the wall. Notice back down in this crack. Cave goes back a little bit, but not very far. Here at the entrance, there's a lot of broken rock. Notice back there, it almost looks like it went back farther. But it's too small for people. It's another dead end. All right. <laughs> Here's the motion sensor that triggers the lights so that People can explore this without being lost. Notice the color here. Same thing here, you notice this. It was gray, but then there's brown. The brown is like where dirt's come in from above. But then over here, it's brown too. Oops. By the way, in the mode I'm shooting in, I can only shoot half an hour of video at a time. And I think this trip's gonna take me longer than half an hour. So I think at the end of the cave where I turn around, I'll pause and start over. So it'll be one video for inbound and one video for outbound. What's that beeping? <sighs> Interesting. We'll 
almost said cave popcorn there. Interesting. Oh, what the heck, my gimbal doesn't want to hold still. Wow, this is actually a little pillar right here. A lot of interesting stuff in this cave. If you take your time to look at it, because it's such an easy cave, I think a lot of people go through pretty quick. It's like, man, you don't know what you're missing. Let me pan up a bit so you can enjoy the ceiling. Notice how it's kind of roundish. It's not square, but it's not flat either. Okay, there's the exit. There's a nice big crack there where the wall is like literally falling down. Oh, that's funny. Look at this shape. This looks like somebody built a little igloo. Wait a minute. Oh, this is probably like a fire pit or something. I don't know. It's not really labeled birth beans. Huh, interesting. Notice back there, there's a way back there. They asked us to stay on the trail though. So since there's obviously a trail in here, I guess I should probably stay on the trail. But anyway. Other caves, they don't have a trail. You can kind of do a little more exploring. But yeah, back there, you can crawl, but it doesn't, it just goes around behind. It's not like a separate tube or anything. Same thing, look at this here. Notice how smooth this welded rock is here. Whoops. Hang on. Notice there's clinker lava back there. Here's another rock that like fell. Pan up. See how the top of that rock matches the wall a few feet above it. So that whole rock probably fell off the wall sometime. Scary, isn't it? Glad I wasn't here when that happened. Well, actually it would be kind of fun to watch it. But yeah, <laughs> but that was loud. There's the reddish colors there, and the grayish colors there, and then the brownish colors up there. It's like a color zoo in here. Notice on the right side, the floor is naturally smooth, and then to the left, it's rough, and then of course the artificial trail. The dark spots are wet spots where water's been dripping from the ceiling. There's another motion sensor. That's what triggers the lights. So they don't leave them on 24 hours a day. That'd be kind of a waste of electricity. And so behind this rock, you can go right or you can go left. You could theoretically go way back there too. But, oh well, there's a sign that says stay on the trail. So I guess I'll play nice and stay on the trail. See, there's almost a side passage there, but it doesn't go back very far. It's like a dead end. All right, then. That's how rough it is up here. Let me pan up so you can enjoy the ceiling better. So look at this. It's like really rough there. A little more rough there. Extra rough up there. Ooh, uh. Darn it, why is my gimbal trying to turn crooked? There we go. Actually, I think I accidentally bumped a button, so I told it to turn left on accident. Notice there's a straight line of rocks over there where they hid the uh, 
power conduit for the lights. <laughs> yeah, kind of silly. Uh, oh well. Notice they got bleachers here so they can have little presentations, have a ranger do a talk about cave safety and cave wildlife and all that stuff. Got more lights up there. Notice up here above me, it's very shiny. They have a lot of that stuff in Golden Dome Cave and uh, one other I can't remember, oh, Hopkins Chocolate. Hopkins Chocolate and Golden Dome are right next to each other. So that's really bright and shiny. Hopefully I'll do those. I think they are open this time of year. Yeah, I'll double check. But if it's open, I want to do those. So this basically is where it splits two levels, upper and lower level. It'd be fun to climb up there. A little bit too hard for me. You see how the ceiling is gray, but watch this pan up. It's more of a brown. That's all natural. That just depends on what's inside the rock, how that rock formed, type of rock. You have to ask a geologist. You know, hear how the ceiling is high and then it suddenly comes lower. That sometimes means there's an upper level above it. The cave is split into two or more levels. The lava flow here is hundreds of feet thick, so it's possible there's like 10 more levels below us. Wouldn't that be fun to explore? Again, look at the colors here. It's funny, I'm shooting in 10-bit color, but I don't think YouTube supports it. So if you're watching this video, you're not watching everything I'm recording. Oh, well. <sighs> Watch this. See how the there's the floor and the ceiling, but if I pan up, look how uneven it is. All sorts of little nooks and crannies. There could be bats, but I don't think I've ever seen bats in this cave. I think there are too many people and too much light for bats to come in here. It's a bit wet too. But look how this part's nice and smooth here. Not so much right here. <laughs> wow, look at this. Rough neighborhood. Oops, it's this gimbal, it pans really fast. I tried to take it smooth and easy, but I'm not used to it. My older gimbals were what, much slower. I swear I have this on the slowest setting. I don't know how it's so fast. Notice the cool shape on the wall here. I think those are called blisters. That's how the ceiling here is smooth. And up here it's rough. It literally fell down. And now here it's smooth again. This is the actual tube lining. So in here, that's why there's all this breakdown on the floor. It came from the ceiling. What's really weird, sometimes you see a breakdown rock and it's like 10 feet from where it fell down. It's like, did it bounce or roll or what? Very suspicious. Another one of those motion sensors. Makes you wonder, man, they're spying on us down here. 
I wonder if they keep a count so they know how many times people come through here. I think in some caves they do, but probably not this one. See, there's another place where it's smooth out here, and then rougher and more colorful in here. Very interesting. It's a nice upper level up there. It'd be fun to go up there and explore it, but I can't get up there. It's a little too hard for me. It'd be weird if you had that on a bucket list. Be like, yeah, man, I want to explore Mush Pot Cave. Notice the ceiling gets tall again because there's another upper level. You can see there's a lot of upper level there. If I pan way up, there's that golden stuff like in Golden Dome. Golden Dome is like covered with that stuff. It's so pretty. Got a good light and it's like glows in the dark. It's crazy. Yeah, see here it's obviously a dead end. Good thing about a cave like this is so steep, it's easy to keep track of which way you came. If a cave is level, it's harder to remember which way is up. Usually, up is out. It depends. Got a one and two guess. ask us to stay on the trail, but this is the end of the trail, so I'm going to go ahead and go a little farther, just so you can see how the cave ends. You can see it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I don't know if I can fit through here. As you can see, that pile of rock is about as far as you're going to get. Even though it looks like the cave does keep going farther. Good luck with that. Alright, well, anyway. <clears throat> oh, what the heck? My foot got stuck between a couple of rocks. I 
notice over here, this side is really smooth. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pause the video because, um, well, long story short, I won't be able to get all the way out in one video.